There's a new restaurant in Regent Square. Hemlock House is the newest venture for the owner of the popular pizza joint, Rockaway Pizza. Hemlock House just opened up this month, and joining me in the kitchen is Joshua Sickles and his sous chef, Jacob Zaricki. So what are you making for us today? Uh, we're making uni bucatini. And what is uni bucatini? So it's like a, kind of like a, a mashup yeah, of Italian food and my love of sushi. So uni is sea urchin. Um, we make a cream sauce out of uni and uh, sake and mix it with bucatini and stracciatella, which is the inside of burrata. So how did you come up with this menu and, and really expanding your love for food out of a pizza shop? I feel like I hit a wall with like creative wise what I wanted to do with pizza. And yeah. so I kind of called up a few of my chef friends to work on a menu together and uh, I don't know, I'm kind of like an aversion to doing like normal things. So it's uh, what's, the, what's the best thing we can come up with that also is a little bit different. You use the word irreverent uh, on, your, on your menu yeah. online. Yeah. Why was that? Why did you want to describe your, way, your food in that because way? Because then it gives you the uh, ability to make whatever you want without respect to genre, you know what I mean? Yeah. So if you find, like, so we have a kielbasa corn dog on the same menu as a sea urchin pasta. Right, you feel like right. you, this opens yeah. you up to do yeah, whatever it's like, you it's want. Yeah, it's like my playground, basically. Yeah, yeah that's so, what I want to be. So you start, started with the pizza shop. Yeah. Uh, Rockaway Pizza and mm -hmm. people love your pizza shop. Yeah, yeah, it's, really a it's a monster. It's a monster. Yeah. Um, and so when did you start expanding outside of that? You said you grew a little bit like like you had done enough. With I mean, I've pizza. always I've always loved many types of food, um, but I just felt like at a certain point that I wanted to try something a bit different. Yeah. But, you know, I'm also not a classically trained chef, so, you know. So you had to bring in friends like, yeah. like Jacob here. Yeah, and Michael Allison, who's the head chef. Um, and we just, we collaborate on everything. Yeah. What is that process like for you, Jacob, being the sous chef here and, and helping to create this menu for this new place? That's a fantastic experience. Uh, I've had a lot of work experience with the chef, Michael Allison. Yeah. We've known each other for about half our lives at this point. Uh, and this is probably the fourth restaurant we work together. Uh, and in this capacity, this is everything we've ever wanted to do together. That's amazing. All right, and so you have some fresh bread here too. Are we cutting this up? Is this for anything in particular? Is this gonna go with our pasta dish? Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, people. some people say that uh, bread shouldn't go with pasta, but you know, what else are you gonna sop up that broth with? What? Who says that? People that's in Italy. That, but no, it's, but, well, that's... But, Italians in New Jersey would That's say That's right, you they need would say bread. no way. Yeah. <laughs> so what else is on the menu? We talked about the pasta dish here and your kielbasa corn dog. Um, so we have uh, all kinds of fun stuff. Like we have like fried artichokes with like a Spanish red pepper sauce. Um, we have a mac and cheese, but it's different because there's uh, smoked and four year aged Gouda in it. So it's it's a bit different and funky in a good way. Yeah, um, it sounds like it. We have a uh, lobster roll taco. So it's like, both of these guys are from like the backwoods of Maine. So oh, obviously, really? yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. I, I found them in the woods somewhere. That, that's where, <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of like a traditional play on a lobster roll, but with like a Mexican street taco type uh, aesthetic. That's awesome. And so right now you're just doing dinner, but there are plans to expand your no, menu. No, we just started brunch this oh, past weekend. Brunch. So oh, Saturday great. and Sunday at, starting at 10 o'clock. Um, really good brunch. Uh, yeah. That's fantastic. All right. And how's the pasta coming along? I'm ready to, to try it. Very close. It's very close. And so what else is, is there? What else do you have there? So this is the uh, stracciatella, yeah, so which is um, mozzarella soaked in sweet cream, which is then encased in another layer of mozzarella, which you break it open and the inside is this. This is basically the in, like what you know is burrata. Right, it's uh, the inside. It's the inside of it only. And then this is fish roe, black masago right here. So like it really is like a, um, and then we have some uh, grated parm. Uh, so it really is kind of this, uh, you know, collision course of like Japanese and Italian. Do you feel like this is scratching your itch of creativity by opening this place? Definitely. Yeah. I'm obviously like with the pizza, I'm already a fan of Italian cooking, but I'm also like a really like, you don't want to know what I spend every month on sushi. Oh, <laughs> it's expensive. And I just, uh, I wanted to do something um, in that regard. Obviously I'm not going to be making like nigiri or sashimi at the restaurant, right. but uh, 
this was about as close as I can get. Well, I can't wait to try it. I know we have uh, about 30 seconds left, and we're working Come feverishly. On, well, Come this on. Is, don't worry, this isn't chopped. We're not going to kick you out. You don't lose the competition if we don't get it She's plated. She's staring at me like we're going to get kicked out. <laughs> no one's getting kicked Hold out. Hold on, I'll twirl like the wind. <laughs> you, you, would, you wouldn't kick Applebee's out. Don't I kick would me out. <laughs> would not. I don't know that we've ever had Applebee's here in our kitchen, though, but I would never kick you out. Don't worry. You shouldn't. <laughs> All right, so that's going, and we're going to top it just with a little bit of cheese, some and you mentioned healthy dollop. I like it. I can't wait. And you let hit me get that a fork. with the black pepper. And where can people find you? What are your hours? You're in Regent Square, right? HemlockHousePGH.com is our website. Um, Tuesday, give this a try. Tuesday through Saturday, we're open four till midnight. We're also a bar too. It's not even done yet. It doesn't matter. All right. It's so good. All right. I needed a bite. All right, good. You like it already. It's fantastic. And we got the row and everything. Thank you guys so much. We'll have to come and check it out in Regent Square.